<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. And today we have a drawing of the skull of a chimpanzee. Now, for those who don't know, chimpanzees or the more scientific name pan troglodytes. That's the scientific name for you know, well a particular species of chimpanzee. There's more than one kind of chimpanzee. You have the main family chimpanzee. Do you have like the you know, variations and stuff? So this is chimpanzee troglodyte troglodytes. Right, chimpanzees are an African ape. They're not monkey. They are they are primates, but they're not monkeys. They are apes. As I said before, I think I forgot what video it was was so, you know do between a a. I did a baboon uh, skull difference between a monkey and an ape is well the main one is apes don't have tails simple as that <laughs> that's really you know they're both primates but apes don't have tails so that's the sure surefire way to know the difference between a monkey and an ape and most monkeys live in trees, the small living trees, but that's basically the main difference. Apes don't have tails. And uh you have the you have the you know small apes like the chimps. You know, the the they're the smaller of the the apes. Then you have the the large apes what are called the great apes. You have the which is the gorilla, the orangutan, like they you know you got the different kinds of gorillas. The orangutan that lives in South America, you know. So this is a chimpanzee, a chimp, and a different kind of chimp. You have the smaller chimp, which is the which is called the bonobo or the pygmy chimp. Pygmy is just another word for small, tiny, and. Humans, human beings, Homo sapiens sapiens, are part of the primate family, more, more specifically, the ape family. So we are also part of the great ape family. Now, I know some people are going to watch this and, you know, like, you know, are you trying to say that, that where we came from monkeys? And stuff? No, I'm not saying that human beings came from monkeys, nor did Darwin say that human beings came from monkeys. Darwin never said that. I hate when people pull that try to pull that card. You follow you you believe in you believe in Darwin's evolution, we say, you know, humans can't get involved from monkeys. Well, if humans evolved from monkeys, why they still monkeys? It's because humans did not evolve from monkeys. Simple as that. Darwin states, and there's there's more proof than that than anything else that humans and monkeys Evolved from a common ancestor. Apes and monkeys evolved from a common ancestor. Meaning there was an ancestor that gave birth to both prime, both monkeys and apes. Just use the example of, you know, if you have a cousin. It obviously, that means that your cousin has parents. The common ancestor between you and your cousin is your grandparents. Your grandparents are no longer alive, but you are. So the common ancestor between cousins is the grandparents. Hopefully that makes sense. So whichever, whatever, whatever creature was the was the common ancestor that gave birth to the to monkeys and apes. Is the equivalent to the grandparents of cousins. It's just that simple. Darwin never said that humans came from monkeys. Never said that. He used the example of when he went to the Galapagos Islands and he saw a group of finches. A finch, a finch is a bird, for those who don't know. He saw a group of finches. They were all finches, but he noticed that the different species of finches had specialized beaks. 
you saw some some you saw some finches that had narrow beaks, some had short uh rounder beaks, some had cross beaks, like they actually had crossed. And he then he asked the question, he said, Okay, these are all technically the same bird, but they look different. So what has happened to these birds, the same this this species of finch that developed into these different kinds of finches with with these different kinds of beaks. What happened? So he deduced that, okay, since they're all finches, but they're all different, is there, or was there, or were there, what else it was, was there ever a bird that gave birth to all of these different types of finches, a.k.a. did all these finches have a common ancestor, since they're still all finches? I mean, you can you can easily just take this all back. We know that all birds are related. However, that you, ha- you have a pigeon, you have an eagle, you have a penguin, you have an ostrich, you have finches, you have a robin, you have a sparrow, a starling, a kiwi, a raya, a cassowary. All of these, a duck, all of these are birds. No mistake about it, everyone agrees that these are all birds. But they're all different. So the question, the natural question would be is, do all do all birds, let's so say the eagle too, do all birds have a common ancestor? Do they have, do they have a ancestor that gave birth to, to all of these species of birds. It's that simple. So what Darwin did, we said, okay, well, I mean, the natural thing for humans to do is to find out where do you fit in all of this. Since since you found since he found all this evidence for other animals, would this experiment apply to humans? We said, okay, out of all the animals, out of all the animals in the world, which animal that we know of right now best fits the criteria for a distant relative for human beings? So, so all you gotta do is you search, you search, you search, you, you search the records of all the animals that you have that you have documented thus far. Let me say, okay, which animal fits? Which animal? Is closest to us than the others. So okay, well, primates. It's okay, primates. What makes up a primate? Did that be the next question? Okay, well, what 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 is a primate? What makes up a primate? Are there different kinds of primates? Yes, there are different kinds of primates. It's okay. Out of all the primates, you have primates that have tails. You have primates that don't have tails. Okay. We obviously don't fit into the primates with tails because we don't have tails. Okay. So, okay. So, since we don't have tails, then it must be the primates without tails. A.K.A. the apes. Now, there are different kinds of apes. Different kinds of apes. Like I said, you got you got gorillas, you got the chimpanzee, you got the orangutan, you got the bonobo chimp, all these all these types of all these types of apes. Okay, out of all of these apes, which ape fits us more closely? Which ape? So it can't be the gorilla. Well, it's not the gorilla. It's not the orangutan. Okay, as far as we know, the fossil record shows that the oldest human fossils are found in Africa. So let's, let's search there. Let's search in Africa. What African ape best fits, best, could, could best be described as having a common ancestor with humans? Let's see. Gorillas, close but no. Chimps. They're small, like us. The skeletal structure is pretty similar. 
pretty pretty similar. Okay, so so we 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 got we got some we we working with something now. We cook up with gas. Now there are different kinds of chimps. Now this uh, now over time you know technology advances over the years and stuff and we're better we're humans were better able to really pinpoint. You know, really, really get down to the nitty gritty of things. Really pinpoint, you know, what what's happening. Okay, with the technology that we have now, we can we can really investigate more. Okay, so using our latest technology, with DNA sequencing and you know blood samples and mitochondrial samples and all that stuff. What animal? What chimp, what chimp? Since we since we know it in gorillas, so we now know the common ancestor between the monkeys and the apes. We know that now. So that so whoever were well, the common ancestor for that branched off. Now we got monkeys and apes. Now we know there's a common ancestor between humans and other apes. We know that now. So it was okay. So which so which chimp is closest to us? And we have now found that the bonobo chimp or the pygmy chimp, which is a smaller a smaller uh, breed of chimpanzee, you know. You have the chimp that we all know about that we see on movies and stuff like bubbles. We we know about that particular chimp, but it, that's the more common chimp. The bonobo chimp is much smaller. And we say, okay, now that we know that we, we you know, we think we we think we have a we think we got a a good a good match. We think we we've got it down. Now, how closely related to the bonobo chimp are we? How close? Like if you take the DNA, because I mean in terms of DNA, all creatures on the Earth are related. We're just you know we on the, we're all on the same planet, so. But some creatures are closer to other, are closer to one than the other, you know. Dogs and cats share a common ancestor, but a tiger and a house cat share more in common than a dog and a cat. But a dog and a cat both have a common ancestor. Why? Because they share things in common, like one, a spine, things of that nature, you know, stuff like that. So we found out no, the bonobo chimp is the closest relative that we have in the animal kingdom. The bonobo chimp. That's not that's not the same thing as saying that oh humans evolved from monkeys. No, that that's not. What it is saying. Darwin never said that. He never wrote that. He said that there was a common ancestor. Like, every creature on the planet has a common ancestor to another. Like, every dog has a common ancestor. The domesticated dog and the wild wolf have a common ancestor. Okay? The Galapagos turtle... And a small box that you find at PetSmart have a common ancestor. Every fish has a common ancestor. Yeah, it's just that simple. Now, how far back it goes, we don't know. But we know that every creature on the... And eventually, you'll find that every creature on the planet has a common ancestor with something. That's that's basically what evolution is. It's change over time due to environment, which which affects due to ecology, which affects eating habits, whether or not that animal is confined to a particular place where there's no outside no interference, all that. So. If you leave an animal isolated for a long period of time without any interference over 
an extremely long period of time. Like when people think, I think when people, people even say, like, we say, okay, well, you evolve one day, you were this, and next day you just know. This is over an extremely long period of time. Like more time than, than we can count. That's basically how that goes. Just like the, he likes, just like just like I'm gonna use an example again. Every human has a common ancestor with every other human on the planet. Every human has a common ancestor with every other human on the planet, and as far as we know, that common ancestor was found in Africa. So we can deduce safely that all humans came from Africa. It's just that simple. Just that simple. And every person in your family has a common ancestor. Every cousin, every cousin's common ancestor is the grandparent. Or the sibling of the grandparent, but it's always the grandparent. Every brother and sister, every sibling has a common has a, has a common ancestor, your parents. Every cousin has a common ancestor, your grandparents. It's really that it's, it's really that easy. It's really that easy. Anyway, I am done now. Hope you enjoyed my video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.